Tonight, outrage after dozens of horses allegedly die in a U.S. government roundup. Critics say 77 wild horses and counting have died, along with 39 little foals that were allegedly miscarried. The federal government is under fire tonight for allegedly mistreating thousands of beautiful, majestic wild horses in an aggressive roundup. The government sends low-flying helicopters to chase the horses into corrals and then takes them from the plains of the American West to federal holding pens. The government claims it's to save the horses from starvation. Critics claim the real motive is to clear the land for cattle grazing. Critics also say the horses are brutally traumatized. As we speak, Tonight, more than 36,000 wild horses are stuck in U.S. government holding pens. That number given to issues not by the protesters, but by the U.S. Bureau of Land Management. When we asked them why these wild animals were being forcibly removed from their natural habitat, in response, they sent us a link to their, quote, myths and facts webpage where they deny the claim about the cattle ranchers. Now, today in Washington, D.C., just hours ago, there was a huge protest at the White House against these roundups. Among the tens of thousands of opponents are celebrities like Grammy Award winning singer Sheryl Crow and country music legend Willie Nelson, Sheryl and Willie are just two of the big names behind this movement, and another star joins me tonight. Award-winning actress Wendy Malick. Wendy is a wild horse advocate, and we all remember her as a super sassy, sexy, aged-obsessed ex-model in the hilarious sitcom Just Shoot Me. Plus, we also have Ginger Catherines, volunteer executive director of the Cloud Foundation, as well as Madeline Pickens, philanthropist and founder of Save America's Mustang, Org. We begin with Lisa Bloom, CNN legal analyst. Lisa, why so much outrage? Jane, these are beautiful wild animals, as you say. And what is the excuse for saving them? Saving them from starvation? Really? Because the horses seem to be very healthy. The ones who have died from the helicopters chasing them until they ran themselves to death tend to be pregnant mares and young foals. These animals are reproducing. They are healthy. And the real reason, as you say, is that we're clearing the, the ground, the land, to provide more land resources for cattle ranching. In other words, this is yet another sad consequence of the meat industry. We already know it's the number one contributor to climate change. It's a terribly cruel industry. It's damaging to human health. And now it's killing wildlife. This has got to stop. Well, I just want to say, if Interior Secretary Salazar wants to come on our show and tell his side of the story, <laughs> he's invited. He has an open invitation any time. But as we say, we called the government, and what we got was check out our website. Critics claim dozens of horses have died during these roundups. A roundup lasting more than a month reportedly took place in the Caligo Mountains north of Reno, Nevada. Critics say more than 70 horses died and for 40 female horses aborted their late-term foals. Look at that chopper, how low it is chasing those horses. Two foals allegedly had their hooves separated from the bone after choppers ran them for miles over rocky ground. Now, Secretary Salazar, again, has an open invitation to appear on this program, but we have been asking the government why and what they say is saved from starvation. Now, critics say in these roundups, the horses are traumatized and terrorized. Wendy Malik, why did you decide to get involved in this movement to save America's wild horses? Well, I am a horse owner. Um, I have two horses uh, in California, and about a year and a half ago, Deanne Stillman sent me her book, Mustang, uh, and told me about the roundups, which I was unaware of. And I think that once people are made aware of what's going on with the Department of the Interior, they will be as horrified as I was. Uh, when you look around at these magnificent animals, you realize they are not on the verge of starvation. They are healthy, viable herds, and they're the last of our American icons that symbolize what this country was founded on. They were the ones we rode in on, the ones who helped us mm -hmm. settle this land, fight our wars. Uh, they deserve a place on our public lands. Just hours ago, horse lovers gathered at the White House to protest and try to get through to President Obama. The Cloud Foundation says the roundup spiked in 2000. There you see the protests that we just got this video in just a little while ago. This is happening outside the White House today. Um, this 
This spiked in 2000 during the Bush years, but it has not let up under the Obama administration. Now, Madeline Pickens, you are a philanthropist. You have spent upwards of a million dollars trying to create a special sanctuary for these horses. You are willing to spend millions more. What exactly are you proposing to the government? There's an issue right now. The government's gathered so many horses that they don't have enough room for them. And they have them stuffed in these short-term holding pens. They're butt to butt. There's no trees, no shade. And they need a place to go. And the government has not come up with a solution. So I said, let me create an eco-sanctuary. I will buy the land. Mm -hmm. And we will take the horses there, and we will create an eco-sanctuary so that you, uh, parents can take their families there, schools, Girl Scouts. Let's take back our American heritage. This is our history. This is John Wayne world. I mean, it was what, what a fabulous era that we've had, and we're abandoning it. We're letting it go. And I'm saying, okay, don't go to the rainforest. Come to our eco-sanctuary, and let's do it in the West. Now, so, when it comes to animal abuse, many say follow the money. Critics claim this roundup of wild horses is really a battle over grass. Now, here's the website and bio of Secretary of the Interior Ken Salazar. Quote, Salazar has been a champion for farmers and ranchers. It's on his website, the Interior Secretary's website. Ginger, you've witnessed and documented these roundups. Do these horses look like they're starving to you? Well, I've said for a long time, show me the starving horses, because that mythology has been created by the Bureau of Land Management ever since they were charged with managing these animals in 1971. This is a myth that they have created, along with the fact that uh, they have to be rescued then because they'll die, you know, on the range. It's, it's just pure fantasy. And when you've seen them, do the horses look as traumatized as we've heard? You've actually seen the roundups, Ginger. Well, I've been around uh, quite a while on this issue, and let me tell you that these magnificent animals in the wild with their families look nothing like when they get into these, uh, these pens and they're forced in uh, band after band fighting each other, stallions trying to keep a hold of their mares, uh, the stallion separated from his mares, the babies separated from their mothers, and their heads uh, just inches from the ground in depression. In the case of Calico, it was ab absolutely unconscionable running these babies in winter. And the, the foals you see there, uh, one of them died because their hooves separated from their legs. Yeah, and we've been showing you that video of these helicopters. They go so low and they're chasing these animals. Please, anybody who's ever had a pet who knows anything about animals or any living creature knows this has to be terrified. Terrifying. Imagine if a helicopter was chasing you like that, how you would feel. Now, if you don't like what you're seeing, you can take action. Go to thecloudfoundation.org and join and get involved in the preservation of America's wild horses on our public land. You know, you can also call Secretary of the Interior Ken Salazar. He is in charge of the Bureau of Land Management, the agency doing these roundups. Or you can take it right to the top and call President Obama. Uh, can our voices make a difference, Lisa? And isn't there an act that was supposed to protect these wild horses? Yes, the horse's land is supposed to be protected, but the cattle ranching land keeps expanding and expanding, now over several million acres. And so the argument of the ranchers is that we have to get rid of the horses because we don't have enough water and other land resources for the cattle. That's why I say it all goes back to the meat industry. But Jane, what you're saying is so important. People can write to Ken Salazar. They can email. Our voices can be heard. Our government is accountable to us. And think about it. Do you want your tax dollars going to help? helicopters chasing wild horses until their foals and the mares who are pregnant and the sick horses die from exhaustion and we're doing no. this to save them from starvation <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense it doesn't thank you fantastic yes we're staying on top of that story